our GMA exclusive, I had the chance a couple of nights ago to sit down with Catherine Jackson, of course, the mother of Michael Jackson, and also his three children. And it was really a, a revealing conversation. They talked about everything about how they are adjusting to life after Michael. It's been almost two years now since his death to their hopes and dreams and carrying on Michael Jackson's legacy. Oh my gosh, when did you shoot up so tall? <laughs> They're taller than I would have thought, more mature. But these are three of the most famous children in the world, Prince. Paris and Blanket Jackson, so different now than when they broke our hearts almost two years ago at their famous father's funeral. Daddy has been the best father you could ever imagine. Today they are still very much connected to their father, continuing his legacy of giving. And on this day they are inside LA Family Housing, an organization that provides services to help families and individuals transition from being homeless. Mrs. Jackson, I just I look at your grandchildren and to see how they're just so well adjusted, so with their kids, caring children. They're good kids. In here, there are just three children playing among the other kids, having ice cream, making waffles, B5, playing games. The late King of Pop's children are here on behalf of the Heal the World Foundation. On behalf of Vintage Pop and Heal the World Foundation, we present you with a check for $10,000. As the kids mingled, I had a chance to chat with their grandmother, Catherine Jackson, their legal guardian since her son passed away. This is the first time they ever had re regular schooling. They have, have always had homeschooling. And they seem to be really adjusting to it well. They love it. You don't even have to have, make them get up. They just get up, they're ready for school. It's one thing to hear that the children are doing well, but to see it with the veils gone with my own eyes was pretty remarkable. These are really normal kids, complete with iPods and yellow nail polish and beloved action figures. And grandma is, well, just a regular grandma too. Sit up straight. I wanted to sit up. <laughs> How are you doing? We're doing just fine. So they're almost two years and um, the children are coming along just fine. Is there a time of the day that becomes more difficult? There's not an hour of day that doesn't go by that I don't think about my son. It's just, that's hard. Do you think of him especially in occasions like this with, with children and how much he, he wanted to help them? He's always wanted to help them since he was a little child. He just loved children and Michael had a very good heart. People misunderstood him. All the lies that were told him, the way he suffered from what these people had done to him, these wicked people, I get upset when I think about it. Through all of that, he still kept his composure and he still, he didn't, he wasn't angry inside, but he still tried to help children. As for Michael's own children, one can only imagine how happy he would be to see them coming into their own. Now that they're in school, I know it must do your heart good to see how well they're doing and in, in being in school. They're doing very well. Do you all concur? Everything's going well in school? What's your favorite subject? Gym. <laughs> Gym? Gym and lunch. Those are two subjects. Amen. <laughs> well, I know they are. I know they are. But I understand that the, the parents, you want, to be a, you want to be an actress? Yeah. I'm thinking about auditioning for a play next week. For me to sign for her to be able to audition for this play at school. Oh. She's excited about it. Oh yeah, Prince won the game today. <laughs> What'd you win? Oh, basketball. The season ended. You're a hoopster? He's yeah. a beast. <laughs> Blanca, what do you have there? What's that little thing? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready for showbiz. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you going to do, Prince? I know that Paris is going to be the actress. I'm looking at a couple of opportunities in show business, mostly producing. Producing, such yeah. as? Uh, oh, uh, movies. Really? Yeah. It's an interest Michael fostered in his young son. That's what his father wanted to do, and uh, he was doing it right along with them. They had some classes in it. Um, well, Seth, what were you doing? Talk a, a little bit about what UCLA, you all were doing with yeah, Michael. Yeah. We had a, a teacher from UCLA come to our house and we would do film classes there. And when we were in Ireland, we would film a couple of movies with him too. Oh, you were doing this before? Yeah. You're saying, so it's, it's, a, it's a natural that you want to continue doing that. So even now, Blanket, 
he gets his, and then Paris dresses up like a little waitress or something, and they shoot their little movies. They're kids with big dreams and big plans to give back. It makes me feel very good because one reason why is because it's following what Michael wanted. But so much of Michael's life was filled with controversy, and sadly in death, controversy remains. Howard Mann, one of Mrs. Jackson's business partners, and the charity Heal the World are both in litigation with the estate. I believe it's greed, fundamentally. I think that uh, the notion to me that Mrs. Jackson is not able to use her son's name or the Heal the World Foundation is, is stopped by the courts from using Michael's name is utterly ridiculous to me. I don't understand whose agenda this service is um, outside of maybe a group of lawyers. In a statement to Good Morning America, Jackson's estate told us they believe Howard Mann is making these allegations for his own financial gain. The current Heal the World Foundation has no relation to Michael Jackson's charity that touched so many lives before becoming inactive several years before Michael's death. The estate does not believe Michael's children should be used to exploit a foundation that a federal judge found was not associated with Michael Jackson. But regardless of the legal battles, Michael's children are committed to carrying on his legacy of helping others. Prince is on the board of Heal the World. So what, do you, what would you like to do, uh, your work with the board? What would you like to see? I guess continue what our dad was doing, like helping uh, children from across the world and animals who couldn't speak up for themselves. Mm -hmm. And you, Paris? Ditto. <laughs> Just like a kid, ditto. And I have to tell you, George, um, that was not the first time they have spent time at the L.A. Family Transitional Center in North Hollywood. In fact, uh, when I was there with them, I was looking through this book that um, Catherine Jackson has put together, Goodbye, Never Say Goodbye. And so we're looking at the book, and it's great pictures of Michael and these stories. And Paris has the book, too. And a young resident there is looking at it and is like, wow, Michael Jackson, did you know Michael Jackson? <laughs> well, didn't even realize that it was his daughter. And that's the way they like it. They just blend in there and they just want to give a, as much as they can to that center and to other charities as well. Well, you can tell, at least from the appearances, Robin, they are amazingly unaffected by all this. I got to tell you, George, I mean, that's the first time I've been um, in, in their uh, presence and I, I was just taken aback. I'm just very comfortable of um, just normal kids and that's how Cap and Jackson and, and they lead by example. Mrs. Jackson is just so elegant, so composed and uh, but still uh, still grieving very much for for her son but I appreciated the opportunity to spend time with them here in Los Angeles.